Welcome guys, it's been a while since our last retro review. We're nearing the end of 2021. A lot of people will be delighted about that one, but that does mean season two is coming to a close. I think we've only got a couple of more retros left in December before we go to the all-important season three, where things are going to change a little. I'm not gonna tell you too much right now, okay? We'll get to that. So I have many ways of trying to access clubs specifically chosen for retro reviews, whether that's we buy on eBay, whether we buy on Facebook Marketplace, Gumtree, maybe there's a friend I know that's got one, highly unlikely. The other week for this retro review, I did something I've never done before, antiques roadshow style. I went to the local tip to see, you know, is, are there any hidden gems we could actually find for retro reviews that people just want to get rid of, they don't really know what they've got. And I went through and I found this old rusty bucket of golf clubs and for some strange reason I just wanted to help them. It was an absolute rust bucket of mess. But as I was looking through, some of them were unrecognisable, they were covered in rust. You would know more about that if you follow me on Instagram, make sure you do. What? But as I was filtering through this, well for a better word, trash, I found this little gem. Yes, I didn't leave the tip empty-handed. I found a few little gems in there. Guess how much this club cost? Two dollars. Could be ripped off, I think. Maybe I've been ripped off. So this is going to be fun because it's a bread knife. This is the Cobra Mild Steel. And, uh, yeah, it's a two iron. Hit the centre. Just hit the centre. Oh sh! <laughs> looking for ball. Looking for finger. So what year is this club? Well, that's a good question. It took me a bit of uh, googling to find it. Um, research, and this is the second generation of the Cobra Mild Steel. There is older than this. It's probably disintegrated into sand. Compact blade design, soft V-back mill cut with a satin finish and sandblast top line. The year of retro review is 1985. If you've never watched a retro review before, you've got no idea what I'm talking about, but retro reviews here and the playlist, what we do is we find iconic products. We'll bring them back for one night only theme the whole video around the particular year and highlight some of the huge things that happened in that particular year, music, movies. It's basically just a glorified pub quiz answer sheet, to be honest with you. But we have fun here, we love it. Oh, holy unicorn <laughs> ah. So if you went to the cinema in 1985, you would potentially have seen Back to the Future, The Breakfast Club, Rocky V with Drago. Um, that got 6.9 on IMDb. I feel like it's better than that. Joke. Uh, it felt nice anyway, I don't care where it's gone. This grip, man. Yeah. You want some? Yeah, Sam. You want some? There you go. No matter what song I show my dad from my generation, he always goes, it'll never be the 80s. And when you look back at the years and the music that came out, he's not wrong. The, the old fella is not wrong at all. Dire straits, money for nothing. Banger, banger. The loose jellyfish inspired Careless Whisper by George Michael. Wham? George Michael. George Michael. 
I'm, I'm sticking with George Michael. Yep, lock it in. George Michael. So something we're going to incorporate for season three of Retro Reviews, can't wait to show you, I'm so excited, um, is a what happened on this day. <laughs> Obviously it's very specific and many times there's going to be something really not that interesting happen on the actual day of the year, but today is November 20 and Microsoft 1.0 was released on this exact day in 1985. Magnificent. That was not intended. Awesome. <laughs> oh. July 1985 was the month of the Live Aid concert and also WrestleMania debuted in Madison Square Garden. WrestleMania won and that featured a tag team of Hulk Hogan and Mr. T. Amazing. Go. High fade. It tried, didn't it? Let's have a quick look at this. I'm taking that. Low fade. No way. I'm definitely taking that. <laughs> After a bit of feedback in 1985, Coca-Cola decided to change its recipe, a little, go a little sweeter, um, and it received the most overwhelming negative response possible. They ended up changing the whole recipe back three months later. Uh-oh. To the golf, a German in the form of Bernard Langer won the Masters, and a very Sandy Lyle won the Open. Can I talk to you for a second? Okay, look. If you're not winning by now, all of the pub quizzes available, we're gonna to have to have a really strong word. All right, because some of these are really random. High draw. Are you getting to a bit of a, you get into, yeah, you get into a bit of a rhythm with this. I'm going to give myself that because it's a perfect shape, it's just the bottom of the iron, the bottom, the bottom groove, so it's coming out like a low bullet. As long as I can go lower than that with this draw, it stands. If you think we should try and restore the club's original state, just comment down below, I'd be very interested. Just put club restoration or give it another chance or something like that, because it would be great to see with modern technologies now, how good we can make a club like this look again. Or is it the end for said sad golf club? 
Guys, remember guys, if you're new to Retro Reviews, we've got season one and season two jam-packed of clubs from all different years, shapes, sizes, you name it. Lots of fun we've had. I can't believe it's, it's I think it's like three or four years worth, maybe. Could be wrong. But yeah, check it out. Get on a binge. Good fun. Thank you as always for watching, guys. If you're not a part of Team Al, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. If you like the content, of course, follow us on social media Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and I'm live streaming on Twitch. Cheers. You gotta install microwave oven.